Hey guys, here we have some unicorn earrings. Here's what they look like, and here's what they look like within the app. So, I just decided to keep it real simple, have a nice um, wintry background, and then snow in the foreground. So let's say I, I have an Etsy listing for this. Something which, um, which I would experiment with is making a video like, first it's, you know, first you see everything like you do right now. Then I press record. Okay. Ah, okay, have to hold it a little more. Okay. Basically, okay, so now it's recording. So now I'm gonna take this off, put it really close to the camera so you can really see the detail. I'm sorry, I'm not a hand model. Okay. You can really see the detail of the earrings. And now just put it back. So you can see the whole you know, package that comes with the earrings. That's just an idea I had if you have an Etsy listing. And to actually make this, um, so first things first, uh, light your green screen with two at least 100 watt LED bulbs like this. Make sure it's evenly lit. Make sure that your product is a little bit away from the green screen like this. You can add, um, and here I, I raised it a little so that it meets with this camera angle of this iPad. And you can also get this $20 or $22 rotating display stand from Amazon. And that's it. The key thing is, you know, in terms of lighting, you want to think of the blanket and the actual product as two separate things. Uh, see how I'm lighting the blanket and then I'm lighting the product separately. So those are two separate elements. The blanket, one element, and the product, one element. Make sure you light each element separately. And you never want to combine them. You know, sometimes I see people just, you know, placing this, like, right there. And it's never going to look good that way. Um, it can, but pretty rarely. So, because what happens is the light from the blanket reflects off of the... The light from the blanket gets on the product, and then the product becomes invisible. Um, okay, that's the lighting situation. Now for the actual... Ah, I forgot to press pause on this. So it's going to be a really long video, but that's okay. So it's going to take some time to process because it was like a one-minute long video. <clears throat> so <clears throat> while that's processing... Actually, okay, it was already saved. Um, anyways, so if for the actual background, go to pixels.com, and to match the unicorn like theme, I searched for Magic Forest. I, I downloaded this to my device. Then I used the Your Photo Video feature to use that as a background. Okay, and now for the actual snow, what I did is I went to weather and clicked on blizzard. And that's it. Um, you know, I tried to keep it simple. Theoretically, you can add more interesting effects in snow, for example. Like, if you go to reveal, click on maybe gold, and let's see how that looks. Hey, that looks really cool, but okay, it really depends on what you're going for. That looks really cool, though. Um, maybe you can also try, let's say, like you have jewelry in general, you can also try, let's see, maybe this can work. Yeah, that can work, too. Hmm. Okay, that looks cool too. Um, you can also check out the Christmas section, lots of effects there. Um, celebrations, luxury, love, this can work too. Um, you know, basically with, I think any jewelry, all you're doing is spreading love. 
and the love foreground category can work pretty nicely. Um, let's see what else is there. Uh, we have a bunch of lens flares. They can work well. A uh, rainbow would would have worked well with because this is like a unicorn rainbow type product. You can resize it. Okay. Um, let's see what else there is. You can probably do some sp oh sparkle and particle effects. Um, something a tried and true, but one we got white particles. See how that kind of gives like a kind of luxurious type effect. I really like that one, and that can this white particles one can work for a lot of different scenes. Um, we've got fireworks. It actually, kind of works well with the red packaging. Okay, check out the sparkle and particle effects. Um, works well if you have jewelry. You can also get creative with animals. Um, got lots of different animals added as a little side element. Maybe there's like a bird perched next to the jewelry. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty cool, actually. And then because it's jewelry, you know, I'd take it off and put it next to the camera so you can really see it well. Um, the water and liquids category can work well. Like, they're, like pretty much anything can work well if you if you spend some time making it work. Uh, here we have a liquid waterfall. Okay, that can work well with some like the background here. If you make it a blacker background, so the liquid looks better. Um, here, this is the and this effect is, um, if you have a black background. Um, well, well, let's try it. Okay. Let's go all the way down to black. Okay. And we have to like, kind of like change the orientation of this because this 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 effect is what it would look like if you're looking at the water from the top kind of works now but you know you kind of want a different angle where it looks as if the jewelry is like laying in the bottom of the water um and you know you can make pretend there's like gold there's frost coming out like there's so many different things you can do there's over 3,000 foreground effects so that's just a snippet of it um i'm here if you guys have any questions